Hi, my name is Alan Halleck, and I am a librarian, and I work here at the Williamson County Public Library. And today, I am going to read to y'all a book called A Hippopotamus Grows Up. It was written by Anastasia Swin and illustrated by Michael L. Dinman and William J. Hewitt. Under the water, a baby hippo is born. He pushes off the water's bottom and pops above the water. He takes his first breath of air. Baby hippos are also born on land. Hippos can walk or run just minutes after they are born. Peekaboo! The hippo's nose, eyes, and ears stick out of the water. The hippo can only breathe above water. The baby hippo goes back under the water to feed. His nose and eyes close as he drinks his mother's milk. Hippos spend at least 18 hours a day in the water. They stay in the water for so long because their skin dries out quickly in the heat. After several weeks alone together, his mother takes him to meet the herd. Female hippos are called cows. Male hippos are called bulls. Baby hippos are called cows. Other hippos come to greet him. Mother hippos from the herd watch the baby hippo when his mother goes off to eat. Time to eat! At four months, the calf can eat grass. As the sun goes down, the calf follows his mother to her eating place. After calves stop drinking milk, they only eat plants. They follow their mothers on private eating trails. After they eat, the calf and his mother go back into the water. Splash! In the cool water, the calf plays with other male cows. They learn to fight through play fighting. Growl, snort, roar. The calves make a lot of noises as they play. They open their mouths wide to show their teeth. Hippos have tusks like elephants, but a hippo's tusks are inside its mouth. The calf spends most of his day in the water. Now he is big enough to walk on the bottom of the lake. Adult hippos can stay underwater for five to six minutes. They are too heavy to float or swim, so they walk on the bottom instead. The calf takes a deep breath and sinks under. When he goes underwater, fish nibble on him and clean his skin. Hot, hot, hot! Out of the water, the sun burns the young hippo's skin. He rolls in the mud to cool down. When the mud on his back dries, the calf goes back to the water. An egret lands on his back and eats bugs off his skin. When a hippo stays in the sun too long, it sweats a red goo that looks like blood. As the young bull grows, he plays with the older bulls. When the young bull reaches maturity, he leaves the herd. He finds a partner and mates. A bull's territory is called a refuge. A new hippo is born. The young bull is now a father. The mother brings the new calf to meet the herd. The new calf will grow up on the African plains just like her parents. Hippos are one of the largest animals living on land. And that is the end of that book. Mm -hmm.